Hello everyone, I'm Chris from Versus Computing and in this video I'll be showing you how you can add more than one static IP address. Um, I'm assuming you've watched the previous video on how you can actually add one static IP address but in this one it's just going to be a follow up and I might as well get started with it. So if you go onto the desktop you should see the network icon here so if you right click that and uh, click open networking sharing center if you then go to change adapt settings if you right click that and click properties scroll down to TCP IPv4 and then go to advanced you can actually add multiple IP addresses so the reason why this might be handy is if you've got um, other things on the same network so maybe you've got um, something like a new IP camera and that's IP address is 192.168.1.20 and you're on a different subnet and you don't want to keep on having to switch between the two what you can do is you can give yourself a static IP address in that range and you should then be able to access it without having to change all the time so just for that purpose I'm going to be changing um, or give myself an IP address of 192.168.1.50 and subnet mask can be kept the same so if you click add and click ok ok again ok again and close these two down now if you open up command prompt and type in ipconfig helps if you spell it right obviously and you can see I now have two IP addresses 10.0.0.70 and 192.168.150 so I thank you for watching and in the next video I'll be showing you how you can get it to obtain an IP uh, set it to getting an IP address ob automatically from your router so thank you for watching hope I'll see you again soon